guys. So we're right here at the sunflower field. It's just the beginning of June and right now they're in the, I say marvelous blooming. Uh, so we came here to take some photos. Ken wanted to try his new camera. So we took some pretty photos near the sunflowers. It's a bit chilly right now. It's almost eight. Here is a bit of a mess. And yeah, later on we're gonna try some uh, new restaurants, not fully vegan, it's called Lacha, and we see what they have to offer. But right now we're enjoying this beautiful view. In the sun of flower field, where they bloom in right now. Oh, they also have a lot of beehive here. We saw a lot of uh, walking bees. Lana only had a nibble on the leaves. Apparently she likes sunflower leaves. Okay, we have hand in action. We have a really big mountain there. And maybe if it was a bit earlier and warmer, we would climb up to the top. But right now it's a bit chilly. And we're here. This is the place. It's a pizzeria. So we arrived to Lache. And even though the place is located very close to a gas station, it feels completely separated. The place has its own cool vibe, it's really colorful, you can sit in the front or in the back, so it's a perfect place to bring your furry friends. They also have a lot of plants which I like, Lana tried to nibble on them but I told her no. Anyway, I really like this uh, cozy young vibe this place has. And here the silly dogs got all tangled up. Okay, so this is the menu. They have this side and that side. And they do have a lot of vegan options since they have vegan cheese. So we decided to take uh, the pizza with vegan cheese and can decide in between the pasta or the spinach. You're gonna surprise me. Hey doggies. So we got the pizza and the calzone and I gotta say it smells fabulous and Khan is already digging in so I'm gonna eat now, itadakimasu! Okay, so we just finished the pizza and the calzone and now for the grades. I'm gonna give the pizza a 10. It really was one of the best pesto pizza I ate. It was so tasty. I love the seasoning. I love the little cherry tomatoes. I think I definitely recommend it. You should try it. I don't think you, how can you improve it because it was that good. For the calzone, I'm gonna give it an 8. 8 adds a bit of a strong eggplant taste and I'm not a big fan of an eggplant. I do like it but not like when the flavor is still dominant. And in the calzone you basically only felt the eggplant and not much cheese. I think if you add maybe cheese or some paste in it, it would be better because it's a bit dry on its own. You need something to um, soak it in. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this little uh, visit here in Lacha Pizza Bar. Uh, if you like, give us a like and subscribe. And until the next vegan review, bye-bye! Hey guys, so we're here at Hummus Eliao. They messed up my name, but never mind, we'll forgive them. Shreen. And now we have a Make Yourself Malabi. So you get a Malabi with all the toppings, and now we're gonna create a Malabi. Khan? Khan? I'm a specialty in uh, Malabi making. Yes. First of all, it's Khan, the, the Malabi chef. Pour. The syrup. The syrup. Pour it generously. Gently. And generously. 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 Generosity. Generosity. I'm gonna pour the nuts. Minchan, you are uh, half on the table. <laughs> this is all the. Okay, I like coconut. I like coconut, so we can be generous. And voila, look at this perfect malabi. I want in the side yeah. for Henchan. For Henchan, this is the Henchan side. You messed up. It was so beautiful Nahon. earlier. It's what? true, it was more beautiful before. How did you do? Now we have to balance it. Shake it. Voila, and here is the Malabi. Stirring the Malabi 
my fucking bed. We have some coconut here. Okay, Nigma, Nigma. <laughs> This video was taken at the end of month May, where a couple of birds chose my parents' balcony to build their nest. It was really cool observing mama and papa bird uh, bringing food to their babies, uh, each one at his turn. Is she gonna feed our baby? We're waiting. Happy! I think they were honeybirds, but I'm not sure. They both had a really long beak and the male was in the color of green. Anyway, when time came, the little baby chicks spread their wings and flew away. And it was really nice experience to watch them grow at my parents' balcony. Wow, Zirut! Lana, Tirdi! Lana? Look like she did a shower. Hey, Mina. <laughs> <laughs>